everybody, and welcome to what will be Season 1, Episode 1 of my Sims 3 Legacy Challenge. We are going to be in Riverview. We are going to create our founder. This should be interesting. All right, here we go. I have had a love-hate relationship with Sims the last couple of days. We've had issues, I couldn't even get into the game. But now everything's working. I had to get rid of all my mods, so there's no mods. There's no, nothing special because apparently my game has issues. So we all know how Sims 3 is, but it's all right. We got it. All right, she needs to look more real. There we go. We're not gonna do our name yet because that's later. That's a surprise. Because I've had a lot of time to think about it, I've had a lot of time to think about her. Uh, let's go one more lighter. Okay, I like that. And let's do her eyebrows to match her hair. Okay, I want. Oh. Oh, a little bit more eyelash there. There we go. Okay. I'm a brunette with gray, so that's why I did that. I like her hair. She kind of looks like me. All right. Not really, but kind of. <laughs> I have blue eyes, so we'll give her blue eyes. And let's fix that. That. I'll give her some freckles. Okie dokie. I like that. That kind of matches her eyes. Yeah, let's do that. All right, then we're going to go like that. And, hmm. Yeah, I like that darker color. Okay. And we'll give her some blush. Give her some lipstick. All right. We already have her bathing suit set up. I'm a jeans and t-shirt kind of girl, so let's put her in t-shirt. And we live out in the country, so we only wear one style of jeans out here. Let's see where are they at. There we go. Bootcut jeans. And what do you wear with bootcut jeans? Boots. Yay, boots. All right. And I wear glasses. So let's give her some glasses. And I always have a watch on. So let's give her a watch. And my watch is like a pinkish purple color. So I'll go like that. There we go. There's her everyday outfit. Let's see. What did she choose for her formal wear? Well, that's not too bad. Oh, no. Get out of that. I just wanted to spin her around. I actually like that. That's not bad. All right. Well, let's just put her glasses on. go and we'll leave her like that I like that okay next is her sleepwear Sizzle. sheepies okay we like sheepies I'll handle those oh nope we're gonna go with this outfit I like this outfit we need shoes, and then we need to 
match her shoes. That's that. And that. Oops. And that. And yes, that is the hex code for both of those green colors. It's the same green. So now our shoes match. We already did her bathing suit. Oh, hold on. Go back, not your swimwear. Your athletic wear. We forgot her glasses. Glasses. Okay. And the watch. Yep. Go back to that. There we go. So now she has her glasses and watch back. We didn't have glasses for our sleepwear, did we? Because she doesn't sleep in her glasses. So we didn't want that. I did put them on her formal, right? Yes, okay. And we don't need glasses in our swimwear. All right, so swimwear and nightwear do not need glasses. Outerwear. I like this. I like that. Okay. Is she wearing two different hand? I'm gonna have to check that out. She might be. Uh, we're gonna go with the gray boot cut. And instead of boots, let's give her, well, they're still boots, but combat boots. <laughs> Camo combat boot looking shoes. That works. We'll give her her glasses back. All right, I need to check and see if she's wearing two different hand things. That's weird. Okay, so she is wearing the purple ones. Does that shirt come with black ones? I mean, I kind of like the fact that the two colors. All right, let's leave the two colors. I like that. All right, we're gonna give her some of my traits. So we have artistic. I love to draw. We got books. I love books, I like reading. I do search and rescue volunteer work, so we'll give her that. And then because she's our founder, she needs to be family oriented. And uh, for the heck of it, we'll make her a genius. Just because. Um, the likelihood of us sending her to college is going to be slim. So let's do just a master of arts degree. Master, master of the arts, not a degree where she's got to get her painting skills up and her guitar skills. Um, you guys need to let me know down in the comments. One of the rules that you can apply is a family trait. And I'm thinking about having artistic be our family trait. So if you like that idea, let me know. If you don't like that idea, let me know and we'll see what happens. Um, we'll just pick those. I love sushi. Out of all the different musics here, I mean, yeah, I'm not too thrilled with any of them. So we'll just use country. Everyone says red is my favorite color. It's not. I just like colors, period. I don't care what color it is, but we'll pick red just because that's what everyone says my favorite color is. <laughs> All right, her name. So I spent a lot of time on her name because it's gonna be a surname that the whole 
series is going to be... So I was thinking of surnames that I really like. One of my favorite Disney movies is Brave and Merida. Merida's last name is Dunbrock. And I was talking and telling my daughter that, and she said, what, Dunbrock? So that kind of stuck. So her name is going to be Dunbrock. And then <coughs> I was trying to think of a good first name. And all of a sudden, it came to me while I was driving around. Ima. Her name is Ima Dumrock, and this is the Dumrock Legacy Challenge. I like it. <laughs> there is Ima Dumrock. Here we go. Miss Ima Dumrock. All right, we are in Riverview. And we have to start at 345 River Blossom Hills Drive, right here. There we go. We can start. <sighs> Wee, there she is. All right, I do have university. I got a couple DLCs, university life, um, seasons. Generations, Ambitions, Supernaturals, Pets, and Late Night. Those are my DLCs. So that way you have an idea of what you're going to see in here. All right. I kind of have a game plan because our money is short. No, no, not that. I wanted this first. But the only thing she doesn't have access to that's public would be a shower. So we're gonna give her a shower here. And yeah, she's just gonna have to shower out in the middle of nowhere for right now. And we're gonna give her a bed because there's no public bed and she's gonna have to sleep. And then, She needs, we want to do a, her lifetime wish, so we're going to need a guitar, so we'll give her a guitar. And we'll give her an easel. All right, that's it. That's all she's going to get. And it's going to be just out here in the open for right now because we can't afford anything else. Whee! Okay. Oh, we're going to take her guitar <laughs> and put it in her back. And here comes the llama from university. Okay, well, she seems excited about that shower. That's good. She's going to paint. Okay. We'll let her paint. I need a newspaper. I'm waiting for that to come out. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Llama. Oh, I hear feet. There he is. All right, come here. You need to find a job, Miss Ima. Ima, come on, come get the paper. Journalism, politics, military. Let's do politics. That would be cool. Military is 40, journalism's 38. 
Politics doesn't start off very high, though. Top physical condition. Town needs strong leadership to enrich society. Guide the course of the citizenry. City Hall is currently looking for charismatic individuals who know how to smooth the right sins for money as well as manage upwards. She probably would be better as a journalist. We're going to have to work on her charisma. But she's artistic enough that that might work. Or we can work on her. Well, that's charisma too, and that's charisma. I'm going to do that. Let's do that. All right, let's have a chat with them so that they go away and at least she'll have one friend and while she's doing that we can see my that's my dogs Someone's coming home. All right. Let's have her go in here. And we can start a jam session. Really? Well, they really like my playing. That's at least cool, I guess. Mew, you need to quiet down. All right. Go greet people. Now that we've got a little crowd. <laughs> they seem to like that. Oh, well he didn't like me. Oh, 
he didn't seem impressed, but maybe if I get to know him. All right, well, he seems okay with that. Let's ask him about his career. He's a lab tech, okay. All right. Well, let's get her to use the bathroom because it's getting that time. We're going to have to build up her charisma, too. All right, and we're getting hungry, so she needs to go here. So that we can make her something to eat. We're going to go over here, there we go, we are going to serve lunch, hot dogs, make some hot dogs. what I just noticed? You notice the hot dogs are laying the same way the grate is? You would think that she would need to sit the hot dogs. Oh, what is that? And there's people talking too. That's them. Okay. Where's she going? Oh, she's going up here. Okay. Grab a plate, girl. Let's go 
introduce myself to this guy. She likes him. She finds him attractive. That's good. ask him about his career. He's a stagehand, okay. That's interesting. Yes, there we go. All right, let's send her home. continue painting for a while. What time does she have to get up? Nine. send her to bed. We're going to get up at 3 because she's going to have to if she wants to eat before going to work she's going to have to go all the way to the park make more hot dogs. We'll see, I don't think she'll need a shower. But I can get her to talk in the mirror before work too, at the bathrooms at the other park. Is there bathrooms at the gazebo? I don't remember, I'll have to look. Because if she can do all of that at the gazebo, that would be great. All right. I think her hygiene is going to be, no, that's going to be bad. We'll shower before we go. All right. So we're going to take a shower. And then we're going to come. To the gazebo. <laughs> it's 
she's just showering next to the sidewalk. Don't mind me. It's okay. It's all okay. Nothing to see here. <laughs> she just has a shower and a bed in the middle of the yard. That's all right. It's all good. All right. Head to the park where you can make your hot dogs. And then we'll talk in the mirror before work. It'll all be good. It will be. Now, I know she starts at work. If she was at her house, the carpool would be coming at 8. So we can just have her go to work at 8 o'clock. All right. Serve breakfast. More hot dogs. She is going to be awesome at cooking hot dogs by the time we get her house built. We'll learn a guitar skill. Hello. Oh my word, the music. Yeah, <laughs> she wants a fridge. <laughs> yeah, girl, I don't blame you. I'd want a fridge too. <laughs> but um, I think it's more important we get you a house first. We'll, we'll get a fridge in the house as soon as we can. But <coughs> oh, I guess she's not good at cooking hot dogs yet. All right, we need a bathroom and the only bathrooms that I know of are here. So we're gonna go there. I don't know if she's gonna get there in time to talk in the mirror at all or what. Is she running there? Please tell me she's gonna get a car. Yeah, okay. She got a taxi. I'll head to the garden and we will talk in the mirror. Practice speech in the mirror. Ega Lord Jitsipjo, Apuki, Apakasi. Yep, that's it, girl. Keep talking. Oh, until it is time for work. And that's at 8 o'clock. Okay. So she's got like an hour. She had like an hour and a half to talk in the mirror and build that charisma up. And she wanted to do that. So there we go. Achugi Nibbits. Yep. Yes, those Akanas are very, very bad. Stay away from them. 
<laughs> How close can we get in here, I wonder? <laughs> now we can see her talking in the mirror. <laughs> All right. Time to go to work. Think. Off to work you go, woman. Oh, go to work. What is she doing? Oh, there we go. And let's, let's see, take it easy, meet coworkers, chat with coworkers, run errands for supervisor. Let's run errands for the supervisor. That sounds good. All right, so we didn't do too bad. We have a romantic interest with Yuri. Possible romantic interest. She thought he was cute, so that's a good, I good thing. We'll keep that in mind. And now she's got her job. Yep, her first time into work. That'll be great. All right. And of course, now she's not. Let's do business as usual. Will that cut down? Nope. She just doesn't like work at all. All right. But she made some money. That's what we need. Oops. Wee. There we go. All right. So that was her first day at work. We can, let's see about, do we have bills to pay? Yep, pay the bills. Recycle those and then you can continue painting. And that should finish up her day, more than likely, because she's going to be exhausted. Yep, she's already tired. Well, that's her first two days. That's not too bad. See if we can see what she's painting. Huh. think she's going to hit the hay. No, she's not going to do that yet. Because that'll have us up too early. Hmm. 
She might gain some painting stuff before she goes to bed. Who knows? We'll see. I just don't want her getting up too early. We don't want to get up that early, but well, now it's at two. What is she painting? I wonder. I want to see. She might actually gain some painting skill before I send her to bed. Let's see if we can get that to happen. Oh, there's a horsey. Hi, horsey. Hey, there we go. All right. Yep, time for bed. All right, so there's our first two days. We found a romantic interest, possibly. We gained some painting skills and we had our first day of work. Not too bad. So there's our first two days. I'm gonna try and keep the episodes around 30 minutes because um, I don't want them to run too long and I'm gonna try and do one mm, at least once a week maybe twice we'll see um, and I'm gonna try and keep them on the same day so Monday I'm hoping to get this posted because right now it's Sunday the 13th That'll give me the rest of the night to get this video edited and posted. And then maybe Wednesday or Thursday? We'll see. But hopefully we'll at least do once, maybe twice, around 30 minutes each episode. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!